Time for our police cam segment showing the dangers that police officers face every day across the country. This is a chase through alleys and residential neighborhoods in Milwaukee as officers tried to pull over a suspect in a Chevy Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Earl Lawhorn was reckless driving. He was able to get away from one police car, but officers in a second spotted him and continued the chase as Lawhorn hit 70 miles an hour on narrow roads. He's going to be north, wrong way on a one way crash, crash, 4 1. He's got a pistol in his hand. He's got a gun in his hand. Westbound, westbound through the alley. Westbound through the alley. Drop the gun! Now, Lawhorn ran off, and police continued the chase on foot. When an officer caught up to him, Lawhorn shot at him from a yard and ran to a sidewalk. Drop the gun! Drop it! 81, I got him on 4 2. Drop the gun! Drop it! 81. He's armed with the gun! Drop it! Drop the gun! 81, he's still armed with a handgun. Now, police found the pistol in the street. He was taken to the hospital where he died. No one else was injured. Joining me now is Sean Sticks-Larkin, retired Tulsa police lieutenant, my former live PD co-host. Sean, great to see you. So the suspect eludes the initial officers, only to be chased a short time later by additional officers. Suspect crashes and bails, seen with a gun in hand. What strikes you most about what we just saw? Uh, honestly, what sticks out to me is the suspect basically got away from the first officers, as you mentioned. Uh, oftentimes during these car chases or even foot chases, suspects, they want to separate themselves from the firearm as quickly as possible. Um, they got away from the officers, had an opportunity to get rid of the gun, get involved in a second vehicle pursuit, bails out the car, still has the gun in his hand. And, you know, I've listened to all the audio of the uh, the pursuits here. And during the first pursuit, one of the officer actually says once they lose him, he's known to carry a gun. So they had some intel on this guy. So the second group of officers, when they see him crash and bail, he's still possessing a firearm. He had plenty of times to get rid of it. He's holding on to it for a reason. The suspect points his gun at the officer. The officer then shot at the suspect. Um, and he still flees while holding the gun, again points it at other officers. Let's listen to that. Drop the gun! Drop it! 81. He's armed with the gun! Drop it! Drop the gun! 81, he's still armed with a handgun. Uh, it's a little hard to see there. What are we looking at here with the suspect's weapon? You know, uh, there is a still shot of the suspect's gun, actually, where it ends up down on the ground. It looks like probably like a crime scene photo or something like that. Uh, first of all, the type of gun he's using is a it's a poor gun. Uh, it's something commonly we find on gangsters out on the streets. But the cartridge casing is actually locked in the slide or in the ejection port. And that's what's known as a stovepipe. Um, so the suspect obviously fired at officers. He tried to continue to fire at officers, but his gun was jammed. Um, so that's the only reason that the suspect, when he keeps pointing his, his firearm back at the officers, he's trying to shoot at the cops, but his gun has malfunctioned. Uh, real quick, we saw a family walking down the sidewalk as police run after the gunman as well. Yeah, this is at the end of August. Uh, you know, they're in Milwaukee, a highly populated city. It's about 7 p.m. at night. There's a lot of vehicular uh, people out on the road. You mentioned the family that's out walking. Um, you know, it, it's a dangerous situation for the officers as well as the residents that are living in this area, all created by this suspect who, again, as I mentioned, had plenty of opportunities to get rid of that firearm, and he chose not to. All right. Sean Larkin. Good to see you. Thank you for wearing a long sleeve shirt today. Really appreciate the uh, the effort that went into today's appearance. It's, it's still <laughs> underneath the shirt, though, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.